Matty Longstaff has left the club. Only for a year. Newcastle Fans TV. He's out on loan. He signed an extension at Newcastle United, but he has taken the decision to join Aberdeen on loan. Currently sat second in the SPL, and I believe... I believe they're second, and they've just won, or, or sorry, they've won two of their three opening games, which is great, great. I'm happy for him because I want him to get minutes, but I feel like he deserves a place in the side. Like rather him be brought off the bench than the likes of Sean, Jeff Hendrick, even Miggy at times. I'd rather him play instead of Miggy at times. I would. Um, I feel like he offers more. I feel like he's more dynamic on the ball. I genuinely feel what, that he's one of our better on the ball midfielders, other than Joe Willock. You know, John Joe Shelby's range of passing is disgusting. He doesn't offer much when driving forward. Matty is very quick. He's got a low centre of gravity. He's very dynamic on the ball. He's got an excellent striking technique. And he rats. He rats. He's not lazy. You know, we talk about box to box midfielder. He he could be that. He could be that. He could be that. He could be that, Steve Bruce. But you won't give him the opportunity. And it annoys me. It annoys me. He talks about personnel, not having the right personnel to play certain positions at certain times. We have them. We have them, but we don't have the fucking brain capacity to be able to get these players to play in the system that you play. You'd rather play Isaac Hayden out on the right and sit fucking Jeff Hendrick in there. And you want to send Matty Longstaff, who's one of our better midfielders, out to Aberdeen. Now, I don't I don't want to get on Steve Bruce's back all the time because we did that last year and we still ended up finishing, you know, where we finished after we were all on his case for the whole season. But, oh, there's only so much. There's only so much I can take. Now, what I hope happens is that Matty Longstaff goes out to Aberdeen. He has an absolute barnstorm of a season, just to prove me right, because he could have a horrendous season. He could be absolute pony. Um, but I hope he has an absolute barnstorm of a season to come back and potentially break into the squad. I am glad that, in a way, that Steve Bruce has finally took the decision to let him go out on loan rather than let him rot on the bench. However, I'd have preferred him to go to somewhere like Derby, Nottingham Forest, Blackburn, and just... Ha- be a bit more competitive and I mean that in the greatest of respects because I'm not here to dig out Aberdeen fans I don't know much about Aberdeen as a club but you know it tends to be Rangers and Celtic running away with it <sighs> but that that being said I, I, Aberdeen have gone and signed a centre off from Hamburg they've spent more money than we have I'm sure they haven't but they're doing more in the transfer market than we have they've got more fucking get up and go and optimism and, and fucking drive from their club than we have. So maybe Matty Armstrong, Matty Armstrong, Matty Longstaff has made the right decision. I don't know. Um, but to me, it just, it, I just feel like it's going to end up the way it usually does. You know, Yedlin, Yedlin go, Yedlin go for example, we've not replaced it. We've not replaced DeAndre Yedlin. Like I'm talking about DeAndre Yedlin, like he's some kind of right back superstar, but which he's not, but he had exceptional pace to get himself out of trouble. And we've done nothing but struggle defensively since DeAndre Yedlin's left the club. <laughs> it happens all the time. Lejeune goes as a barnstormer in the uh, in the Spanish league. And don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not completely against him going. But, you know, arguably, he's technically one of the better centre-halves we've got. And we've been terrible, terrible since he's left. Kevin and Babu. Left the club, done absolute bits. Adam Campbell was tipped to be a hot English prospect and he's done nothing because of the way we handled him. Adam Armstrong, fair play to him, has absolutely fought his way back into the Premier League. He's took took it by the scruff of the neck in terms of doing what doing what he could. But, you know, we didn't help him. We don't help our players in the right way. We don't loan them to the right clubs. We don't handle them properly. And I worry that that's going to happen with Matty Longstaff. And if he, I just... I pray it doesn't. I pray it doesn't. Because I'd sooner Jeff Hendrick fucking retired than continue to give him minutes. Sean Longstaff, you know, br- brilliant that he's a local lad from Newcastle. But he's struggled since his injury. Not taking £50 million from Manchester United in hindsight was the worst decision Newcastle have ever made. And again, I mean that with the greatest respect. I'd love Sean Longstaff to come and have a great season this season. But he won't. Because I don't think he's good enough. 
Isaac Hayden, he doesn't want to be at the club anymore, I don't think. He's always been touted with going back down to London. And he gets played out of position anyway, so I feel for him. He's playing on the wing or centre-half more than he, than he does in his actual position. John Joe Shelby, who I don't care what anyone says, I don't care what throws, what stats you throw at me, he's lazy. We, we, other than Joe Willett, we don't have a midfielder that can run 15 fucking yards. The only one that we've got, we just shipped him off to Scotland. Unfortunately, my, uh, my camera's died, so... <laughs> yeah... That's it, Matty Longstaff on his way up to Aberdeen. Um, what I wanted to have a com casual conversation with you about it. Um, you know, we have the great mem memories of him um, making his debut in October 2019 and scoring an absolute Brahma to win the game against Manchester United. But unfortunately, it's turned into a rant. If you like what you see, please like the video, share, subscribe, do whatever you need to to help us push from 26,000 right up to 27,000 subscribers. And if you haven't already, please get yourselves over onto NFTV Extra for plenty more extra content around Newcastle. Loads of different stuff. Olympic sport, um, transfer rumours, um, transfer ratings and rankings from other clubs. We're currently on 1,730 subscribers over there. We're pushing to try and hit 2,000 by the end of September. I know that's a big feat, but with your guys' help, we can get there. So thank you very much for your time. It's been your boy, Carl. Take it easy. We'll see you tomorrow for the watch along. Peace.